Tater Skin and the Eco Defenders, Book Two, Tell It to Future Generations, Chapter 18. All right, listen up, all, Albert said after we had disembarked. This is what's going to happen. The Indians are going to be gathered for a ritual dance. The soldiers are going to surround and open fire on them with mountain guns. That is, unless we stop them from doing that. What are mountain guns? I asked. Skinny cannons. That was the short and sweet answer that Albert gave. Short, anyway. This is my plan, Albert said. We sent Alexis to talk to the Indians. She will tell them what was about to happen if we didn't step in, and that we are not only going to see to it that the guns are not used on them today, but that persecution of them stops from this day forward. I also have a surprise for them that I'm sure they will be glad to get. Why don't we all go over there and talk to them? Osero asked. I don't want to startle the Indians, for one thing. They won't know we're on their side until Alexis tells them, and they won't find her intimidating, I don't think. A rhino may be different, though, especially when they've never seen or even heard of your type of animal before. Also, I don't want to tip my hand too early. I want the charismatic megafauna to surround the Indians as a protective wall around them. But I don't want to alert the soldiers too soon to their presence by parading them forth just yet. I want to keep them in reserve at first. Charismatic megafauna? Rinky asked. I've been told I was charismatic. Do you mean me? You may be charismatic, Rinky, but you are definitely not a megafauna, sorry, Albert said. What is meant by that term is the large, iconic animals such as elephants, rhinos, hippos, gorillas, and the big cats. They will be most intimidating and thus the most effective guardians. Okay, Rinky acquiesced. Then what will we do first? Ravel, Alexis, Taterskin, and I will approach the leader of the soldiers. Why, Alexis and Taterskin, yuck yuck, asked, who wouldn't have minded being a part of the parley? Alexis, in case we need her language skills. Some of the soldiers may be more fluent in French or German than they are in English. And Taterskin, because they are used to having dogs around, and so his presence won't put them on high alert like most of the rest of you would. What about the rest of us, then? Draco asked. What are we supposed to do? I was getting to that, Albert said. I want to keep the pups away from this conflict, in case something goes wrong. Rovet, take the pups and wait in that stand of trees over there. Your job, which is as important as anyone's, is to keep the pups safe. That leaves you, Draco, as well as Tub Thumper, Chumbawamba, Ocero, Jowls, Rory, Jubitus, Stripes, and Marmalade, Uga, Yuck Yuck, Ringy Terry, and Falcona. So let's have the gorilla, the rhino, the hippo, and the elephants come in from our left, if and when we need their support. The big cats and Marmalade, as well as Yuck Yuck, Draco, and Rinky, will approach from our right, Terry and Falcona, if Alexis calls you, come flying up and join us. What will Alexis call to Falcona and me be? Terry asks. You'll know it when you hear it, Albert and Alexis say simultaneously. <laughs>